I want you to think of a time where you woke up in the morning and created something new, saw a problem and created a solution. Now, how many of you do this every morning? You wake up passionate about your goals, your ideas, and you learn or create something new. Maybe it's simply just because you weren't creative, or maybe it's because you were never taught the thought process to be creative. You were always taught the material, but never had to change it, question it, improve on it. Why do you think entrepreneurs only make up 5% of the workforce and the other 95% work service-oriented jobs created by them? Student debt has accumulated to $1.6 trillion in 2020 and placed the second in the highest category of national debt. Undergraduate enrollment is projected to increase 3%, all while tuition costs has increased to a whopping 37%. This made me question the value of our education and alternative methods that might fix this problem. As I have firsthand experience in the current education system, I can tell you that it exposes us to a wide range of topics and focuses on continuous testing to meet set standards. But yes, test, testing is important to measure results, but should your life, your career, your choice of college acceptance be heavily based on a single SAT test score? An individual is so much more than just a test score. Here I am graduating high school in 2015, and in the next three months, I'm almost required to pick my career for the next 40 years and plan ahead for my financial future, but yet I still have to ask permission to use the restroom. There has to be a better way, I told myself. Although the technology and information has improved, many of the same structural methods of learning have remained the same. The famous Warren Buffett has attributed his success to investing in himself. In fact, tech giants such as Google and Facebook cultivate creativity. But imagine a world where kids in elementary school learn the importance of intuitive reasoning, critical thinking, and the far-reaching benefits of empathy and awareness. Imagine spending seven hours a day in school learning the different topics to make you well-rounded, but also learning to use empathy for better communication skills and to increase production, to learn intuitive reasoning and critical thinking to solve complex problems in other ways than previously taught, to understand our own awareness by interacting and learning about nature and the world that we live in, to be taught to use our own creativity instead of restricting it with single method standards. Topics so important, but yet never stressed in the current education system. The choices that we make every day impact our overall lifestyle and education choices. So these skills need to be taught instead of assumed. This emphasis placed on these skills combined with the current education system allows us to create an alternative method of education. This method might not be the cure for cancer, but it might give us the creative thinking for the person to create the cure for cancer. This method could give us the next president who can create, who can use creative thinking from the surrounding world to solve problems at a time of crisis. This might not be the cure for world peace or many of the problems that we face today, but it's a good start.